Hillary just hung herself collaboration with foreign governments in order to destroy Trump and sway election revealed, but now there is a strong proof. Robert Mueller and James Comey have had more than a year to uncover some evidence that would warrant the continued investigation into Donald Trump's alleged ties to Russia. Aside from the unfounded hyperbolic rhetoric that the MSM continues fueling and conflating and baseless narrative with, Democrats espousing this crap are now bordering on psychosis. But there is a story, a real story, of foreign interference in the 2016 election. A re as reported by Chuck Ross of the Daily Caller, Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman, Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley, has sent an official letter to, of inquiry to Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, citing a report published by Politico in January that outlined DNC official Alexandra Chalupa's collaboration with Ukrainian politician to compile research on Paul Manafort, Trump's former campaign uh, uh, chairman. Chalupa is a Ukrainian-American activist who was paid $70,000 as a consultant by the DNC during the 2016 presidential cycle. At all told, she was paid $412,000 between 2004 and last year while working with Hillary Clinton at the DNC. Grassley is asking Rosenstein, the man who appointed Robert Mueller, to explain why he is dismissing the Democratic National Committee violation, the Foreign Agents Restriction Act, FARA, by having conspired with Ukrainian government officials to undermine Donald Trump's presidential campaign last year. Democrats contend that this is a non-story because the DNC-Ukraine collaboration also did not directly involve the Clinton campaign. Really? How can anyone say that with confidence prior to an investigation, say commensurate to the investigation into President Trump that he has been ongoing for more than a year yet continues on without a scintilla of evidence to justify its existence? Even California's Democratic representative, Adam Schiff, the ranking member, member of the House Intelligence Committee, and the man leading the investigation after the Republican chairman recused himself, acknowledged earlier this month that the DNC collusion with the Ukrainian government was problematic. According to the report by Politico that first ran in January, DNC head Debbie Wasserman Schultz encouraged Chalupa to meet with staffers at the Ukrainian embassy in order to arrange an interview in which Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko uh, might discuss Manafort's ties to Viktor Yanukovych. Poroshenko's uh, predecessor and an ally of Vladimir Putin's with the hope of tainting Manafort and by connection Donald Trump. Is it any wonder why President Trump is frustrated with Attorney General Jeff Sessions for bringing deep state operative Rod Rosenstein into the DOJ and then leaving him in charge after Sessions recused himself? President Trump wants answers. We should, too. I mean, is this disgraceful or what? I mean, you got all this corruption going on with foreign governments, but Rosenstein says we shouldn't look into this? This doesn't make any sense. So, in other words, Rosenstein's another Hillary Clinton uh, uh, collaborator there. Really? I mean, this is disgraceful. And then you see Debbie Wasserman Schultz again trying to set up the meeting in the Ukrainian embassy. You know, I mean, really? Really? These people seem like they're trustworthy to you after the scandal with the IT workers? 
Let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, the jail cell looks uh, quite right for Hillary Clinton there and the rest of her cronies. Again, thank you so much for watching.